Welcome back to the Power Public YouTube channel. Today we're going to be stepping you through the next episode of the KZ engine rebuild project where we're going to be breaking it all down and trying to find out what the problem is with the gearbox. So let's get to it. Okay, so first up we're going to have to uh, take off some of the auxiliary components and take a few measurements so that when we put the engine back together it all goes back in the exact same spot. Okay, so when you're pulling an engine down, it's important to take as many measurements as you can. Here we're just checking the ignition timing, and we jot that down. And then we're going to take the measurement of the, the squish, the distance between the piston and the cylinder head. And also too, I'm just going to take a photo, like this is a great tool, you just get your iPhone out or whichever, you know, mobile device you're using, and just get a photo, and you can always refer back to that when you're doing your assembly. This also is for, as you're laying out, new components that you're not familiar with, like a clutch or a gearbox. You know, something where there's a lot of parts. Use your phone, take a lot of photos before you disassemble it, and then you can always refer back to them in the assembly process. So we've got here a semi-rounded out nut, okay? Uh, now you will come across those occasionally on second-hand engines and what I do is it's quite tight so I can't get it undone with my normal Allen key soup. We can just give it a couple of wraps with a hammer and a, and a um, pin punch. And then we might be able to get that undone. So I'm gonna get my little t-bar and that's just not quite getting in there because it's got a little bit of damage so what I'm going to do is get a uh, socket that I can just tap in there as snug as I can and then hopefully I've got some good feeling on that okay so we've got our damaged uh, bolt here you can sort of see the the hex there is a bit flogged out but I've got a normal in hex socket here and I'm just going to put it into the bolt and And then you can hear it's gone home now, the pitch changed. And then if you put a 3 drive socket or uh, just ratchet on there, you should be able to feel it before it... Ah, oh, jeez, I'm telling you, that's really tight. I don't know if I'm... Ah, oh. yeah, I was going to say, you could... Maybe if you get in really close, you'd be able to see here on the top, or on the sides even, that the hex has spun even more in the bolt. And I was, that's why I was going, oh, gee, I don't know if I'm going to make it. It was that close to slipping again. Um, and if that was the case, I would have had to get a drill bit and just drill down through the in hex with a, I mean, this is an M8 bolt, so get a 10 millimeter drill bit and just drill down until the head pops off the bolt and then you'd be able to remove the engine mount and um, get the rest of the thread out with an easy out or something. It's a real headache and this is thankfully a pretty good outcome. So we have removed all the auxiliaries off the car engine now. So I'm going to remove the clutch shoes, friction discs, whatever you want to call them, the uh, basket, the nut, the primary shaft nut, and then slowly sort of unpeel the engine. And then we can remove the cylinder and split the cases to find out what's really going on. So let's get to it. So there you have it, we've stripped the engine of all auxiliary parts and now we've removed the clutch basket and clutch cover off the side of the motor. Nothing to see there, 
So the next step is to split the cases. Now to do that first, we'll have to remove the cylinder and cylinder head and the piston, and then we can undo the, all the bolts in the crankcase and split the two halves of the crankcase. KZ Engine Rebuild Part 3 is done. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up if you like the video and hit the subscribe button and follow along at home. Check us out on Instagram and Facebook at Power Republic or go to our online store www.powerrepublic.com.au Grab yourself a t-shirt or a cap. See you in the next video.